Hello, I'm Mike from musicradiocreative.com and it's here, the Adobe Audition CC April 2017 release, Adobe Audition version 10.1. This is a stable, fun and exciting version of Adobe Audition and I'm really excited to show you around some of the new features that you can have a play with if you hit the update button. First of all, you'll see nice and prominently when you load Adobe Audition now, you get Audition Learn here. Uh, not only do you get getting started, but you've also got some really handy tutorials uh, like creating your first podcast, reducing background noise, and the best thing about these is if you click them, it will actually, it won't just give you a load of text on the screen, which is really complicated, it will guide you through step by step. So it's never been easier than right now to get into Adobe Audition. Um, some other features that are really exciting include the multi-channel workflow. So if you're working with 5.1 uh, surround sound, you can see it all in the multi-track. Uh, links between Premiere Pro, uh, for instance, Essential Sound. Let me show you Essential Sound. It's over here. And if I head over into the multi-track over here, let's create a new session right there. Uh, you'll see that if I drag a, a voice over in here, I can add all kinds of different filters. It's kind of like having an audio producer sitting next to you saying, do this, twiddle that, push that button, and you'll make it sound better. So really, really awesome stuff. So this dialogue here, uh, I can just go for um, balanced male voice. And boom, it does everything, everything that's needed, including a bit of EQ there. Uh, you can even add reverb if you want using essential sound. And this all links seamlessly uh, with Premiere Pro back and forth. So you've also got the essential sound panel now in Premiere Pro. You can do it over there if you want, and then edit non-destructively inside Adobe Audition. Also, if you've got some of your favorite plugins over in Premiere Pro, uh, you can use them and tweak them uh, between Audition and Premiere Pro. It really is very cool. But now let's get into some really cool features that I'm excited about uh, that I'll be using on a regular basis. Like, for instance, if I go into the effects menu and I want to do one of my favorite things, like add some dynamics processing to this voice. This is it with no dynamics on. A lifetime of hits. You may already have observed it, the real-time display now in all of these audio effects, or pretty much most of them. So if I start making some real-time changes to this uh, compressor here, you'll see just how things change. A lifetime of hits. A lifetime of hits. A lifetime of hits. So you can see there, I'm, I'm obviously compressing really harshly or gating a lifetime of hits. And you can a see a lifetime of hit. Not only you're getting a meter over here, but you're getting real time analysis on the dynamics processing effect. Um, also, if you go into effects and check out the filter and EQ in here, pretty much every EQ now, a lifetime of hits has this beautiful real time EQ display, a lifetime of hits that actually changes depending upon what a you're doing. Lifetime of hits. So if I knock all the treble off, you'll see, well, I can take it away completely. A lifetime of hits. How that real-time display updates. That is huge. That's amazing. And for uh, just finding those naughty frequencies you don't want, it's going to be really good. So that works on not only FFT filter, but you can go in uh, and choose your favorite. It could be the scientific filter. And you can go for it, uh, obviously, a different uh, preset there. A lifetime of hits. And just see how it is affected visually, which I absolutely love. Uh, talking about visual, Adobe Audition really is going visual. Um, let's go to the edit menu. Something I always like to do is assigning keyboard shortcuts. Made plenty of videos about that. If you click this here, wow, we can now see at a glance what all the keys on our keyboard will do. Uh, it's kind of like having a skin for your keyboard, but visually there on the screen. Um, so I can go through, I can choose a key like F, and I can immediately see uh, not only what F does, but also the combinations like the option key, command key on my Mac. Uh, we'll do a scan frequency analysis. I can go to uh, Z or Z if you prefer, and you can see command and Z is undo. Uh, you'll see option and Z is frequency analysis, that kind of stuff. Say I want to use something that's disused, so this empty one here, uh, maybe I want option command and Z to do something. Um, let's assign something handy, like a brand new feature in Adobe Audition 10.1, ripple delete gap. I know this is huge for many, including podcasters. Uh, it's now a part of Adobe Audition, yes. Uh, and what you can do is you can search for it over here in this left-hand box, drag it over and drop it onto, see I click the Z key, it's selected there, Z, 
It tells me multiple commands are assigned, and now I can see ripple delete gap in selected track is now assigned to option command Z. Click OK. You'll see the keyboard layout is now custom, uh, but I've also I can go back to the default set if I like. Also, if previously I've used Pro Tools. I can just uh, copy all my faves over from there, so it's really cool. Uh, click OK. Let's try it out, shall we? Let's go into the multi-track, into that new session I've got there, and let's do a little bit of deleting here. So delete and delete, and now I want to use my ripple delete gap. Click in there, Option, Command, and Z, and there we go, ripple delete the gap. You see Ripple Delete, oh, it's just going to be fantastic, isn't it? Uh, and finally, the stop and jump, yes. Down the hits. Counting down the hits. Counting down the hits. Let's play uh, one of our jingles here. If I hit with stop with space bar, it will jump back to the beginning, but... If I hit stop with K, it also jumps back. And in previous videos, I've demonstrated how you can hit shift and X to disable this feature and then it just keeps playing from where it left off. But if you hit uh, Shift and X again, then you can jump back using K or jump back using Spacebar. So really, really cool stuff. Plenty to explore, but like I say, my favorite feature here uh, so far, something I'm going to be using every day, I reckon, uh, is this really, really fantastic uh, real-time analysis of your audio so you can really tune it up and make it sound great. What are you really loving about Adobe Audition CC version 10.1? Let me know in the comments of this video and enjoy using it.